Ladies and gentlemen, meme coins are starting to go for yet another rally. If you haven't really taken a look yet, let me tell you about it. Dogecoin is up a whopping 20% today, Floki up 15%, some on base, some everywhere up. But what I'm specifically excited about, and some of you guys may, some of you guys may not agree, but that is Myro, because as I've stated before in my previous video, it is the meme coin I've got the majority of my meme coin money into. Because I think everybody comes to a stage where you just have to pick one or a couple of coins to go hard on. And I think there have been two periods where I made some videos about the project and every single time in a very short amount of time afterwards, the price did so amazing that I realized, yep, if I just buy the dip of this coin and keep up with it, it'll do extremely well. Again, I am not your financial advisor. I'm not here to claim that you should go ahead and buy. All I'm stating here is that I've tried to deny meme coins for so long. I've tried to say, no, they are not smart, but the results mostly just speak for itself. A little bit earlier over on Twitter, I was stating that I, for example, see Dogecoin passing a dollar. I honestly don't think it's that crazy. Yes, it's a 5x from here. And yes, many people will tell you, no, it's impossible because of market cap. Da, da, da. Ladies and gentlemen, I've told you many times before why market cap is such a dumb statement. First of all, it's all relative. But most importantly, it's all pretty small still in the grand scheme of things. $30 billion, 5x is $150 billion. For one of the biggest cryptocurrencies, I don't think that's far of a stretch. And specifically for some of the smaller cryptos here as well, two of them literally just came out like last week and already had nearly a billion dollars. It's, 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 just, it's just crazy. But from looking at it so much, you also start to pick up a couple of patterns. First of all, I have gotten some pretty ridiculous gains trying to buy new coins early. I sometimes share them over on TikTok, sometimes I share them over on Twitter, and sometimes I do it silent because it's very risky. If I have high conviction that it'll work out, I sometimes share it, but most of the times I do not. But when buying meme coins early, I made a whole guide for it. There's certain patterns that you start to recognize. But with big meme coins, I kind of have a similar idea. So for example, we always meme that a traditional Binance listing is not that amazing, but a derivatives listing, for example, is almost always pretty awesome. Then again, over the longer term, a Binance listing for a meme coin has always propelled it to the moon over time. And I think the latest one to get it was Whiff. And if we just take a look at how that's been going throughout the recent past here, it's... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's been uh, it's been pretty amazing. And again, consider me biased, but since Myro is now also getting themselves their Binance perpetual listing, you know, to be able to trade it with leverage, like how a couple of others have done it in the past, like with, I feel as if it wouldn't be too crazy to expect a Binance listing. And I mean, everybody's always hoping for the Robinhood or Coinbase listing, but specifically Binance as a first, because I believe over the next few weeks, if Dogecoin really keeps breaking through, a lot of these top coins are just going to absolutely pop pop off. And again, ladies and gentlemen, you just have to make a choice on which one is your favorite. And when I say that, I don't mean you have to start printing t-shirts of it and go crazy. I just mean I have a lot of money into different coins, little itty bits, but I've chosen one to go pretty wild on. And I'm just going to ride it to the freaking moon or, or zero. That's kind of the way these things work, huh? No, but in all seriousness, when to buy memes, people ask me that all the time, mostly at the start of the bull market and a little bit towards the end. Why I say at the start? Memes are an area which throughout the bull market will do really, really well and in the bear market do terribly. But at the start of the bull market, you have a lot of these crazy breakouts which bring crazy attention to crypto, which mostly ignite the bull market. Think of your 2021 Safe Moon or even Shiba Inu. They had so many eyes on them that it brought many people to now look into what crypto even is. At some point though, it kind of collapses because people think, oh, it's gonna go up forever. Just like how we kind of now saw it with the pre-sale meta where people were sending tens of millions and on the Binance March and even hundreds of millions in hope of getting some crazy return, which at some point fails where meme coins kind of die out a little bit. They go crazy, but not as crazy as just general altcoins do, or at least with so many scams around that people kind of stay away. But then somewhere throughout the end of the run, people regain their faith. People regain that idea of yes, I should just put my money wherever because it's gonna go up. And then at some point it booms again, you know, it, it falls and people realize, you see this crypto stuff isn't necessarily gonna go up forever. And that's basically, you know, the 
end of cycle. But so if we're looking at this list, how do you pick which one to go for? And I often tell you, it's, it's, it's really not that deep. They all have their own little niche. They all have their own little community. And I can name different reasons why you'd like a lot of these different coins. Because I mean, you want the highest certainty, I'd say just stick to the top, the top, right? Stick to just Doge. It has the highest probability of just keep going up. But on an opposite side, I think really your, your max multiplier on Doge is gonna be what, a dollar fifty or so at the absolute best. Whereas a lot of coins down lower, especially the ones that are a little bit away from these multi-billion dollar market caps, have significantly more growth potential. And so you try to find middle ground where the hype and community is good, which again multiple coins have good communities. The potential for further announcements has to be good. And in my own humble opinion, preferably you've got coins that are a little bit more liquid that are listed on multiple different exchanges. And how you check that is you go to um, um, for example, coin market cap, you press any coin, any one of them, uh, you see any coin is the same, you go to this market section right here. And you can see on which exchanges, you know, centralized exchanges or on which DEXs, but I'd recommend to just stick with the centralized exchanges. I personally always use Bybit, of which a link is always down below. And if it's not listed on any sexes, it's a little bit more cumbersome, a little bit more dangerous because there's a lot more unknowns. But generally speaking, that also means sometimes that there's a little bit more potential of a massive upside the moment it gets a listing. Like I said, if you scroll lower and lower down the ranking, or even skip that all together and go to a platform like Dex Tools. There are going to be a lot of coins in here which will have crazy amounts of gains, right? But most of these will be straight up scams and will be gone tomorrow or in a couple of days. Some of them won't, but you know that's that's the game you're playing at that point. Also, if you want to buy coins on specific networks, over on the top left you can see Ethereum or you know you only want to buy on Solana, for example, you can press the button for that. Or you only want to buy on BNB Chain, for example, you can press the button for that. To get back into it, I'm right now going a little bit crazier on the memes again because I'm starting to realize I don't really know where I want to sell Doge if ever, but as the next couple of months will flow and crypto doesn't have a major fall, because a lot of people were afraid of that recently, right? That we're going to have a hard crash. But we didn't. We actually had a pretty good bounce and it seems that people's faith is back. People's relief is shining through greatly with a massive Dogecoin pump. And very often after Dogecoin pumps, a lot of the smaller meme coins go for a crazy rally. Last time, and this is where my own little FOMO is coming in, which is why I'm making a video. Last time I underestimated the power of these coins, which is why I'm quickly making a video. Honest truth, just to tell you guys, don't expect, don't think that because they've already gone for crazy heights and they're in the billions now that this can't go harder. Really, when Pepe was at what, like 0 0.24, whatever, I really thought that that would be the highest it could ever go to before things would be coming like down, but it did a 4x from there. Similarly with Whiff, I very much underestimated it. And you want to know a little fun story, guys? I bought Myro so early and I sold a good chunk. I think like perhaps it was right there. I don't know anymore exactly where, but as the price was up so much, it was happy, but I couldn't really realize just how much the price would go uh, quickly after. So I think perhaps I bought the dip somewhere and then on this rally upwards, I sold again being happy and then the price like tripled throughout the next couple of days. Right here again, I think prices are still relatively low to where they're going to be in the near future. I'm not your financial advisor though. And if you've got a cool meme you're looking into, let me know down below. Don't post any links, those get blocked. But yeah, I think it's, uh, it's time to go a little bit more in on memes. And sorry if you really hate the game, but I think it's really, really funny because I've been spending such <laughs> an unhealthy amount of hours looking into it. But it's, it's like a hobby. I guess of sorts. Yeah, I'm loving it though. It's, it's, it's one of those fun aspects of crypto. But yeah, that's about it.